We welcome today uh, Professor Isashi Sanada from the University of Tsukuba, which uh, we, we will present uh, um, uh, the, the, the postponement and the consequence of the postponement of the Games of Tokyo and the, uh, we've come back on history of the, the game of uh, 1964. Um, before to, to let uh, Professor Sanada make a presentation, I would like to present this webinar. This is a series of uh, uh, 10 webinars which started today in a replacement of a conference uh, which uh, uh, in the initially <laughs> was placed in a, in a Maison uh, de la Culture du Japon à Paris. Uh, but because of the uh, sanitary situation, we are in obligation to cancel the conference and we transform it in a webinar. So it, it's why we, we start today uh, by, uh, by the Professor Isashi Sana, Sanada, which uh, was initially the first speaker of the conference in Paris, uh, exactly at the same time. Um, we will continue all the uh, first, uh, the second Wednesday, uh, the second uh, third day of, of every month uh, at uh, 10 in the morning. Only one uh, session of the webinar will happen in the afternoon for French because it will be in the in the morning in the USA and Canada. We will welcome professor from uh, a university of uh, uh, Quebec in, uh, in Montreal and uh, the University of New York. Uh, and uh, you will see the, the, the different presentation in the uh, seminar of, uh, in, the, in the website of the FFG with all the program. Uh, so uh, this uh, session uh, will be recorded and broadcasted, broadcasted in, the, in the website of the FFG. So it will be possible to share the presentation of the Professor Sanada and to, uh, to, to, to other people who you know uh, that ent are interested by the games. And um, I'm, uh, I'm pleased to let uh, from now start it Professor Sanala for the presentation, and he will present himself in, uh, in the beginning. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. I'm Sanada Isashi. And I'd like to talk the recovery from the war and the pestilence, Tokyo 1964 and 2020. And uh, next slide, uh, this is my face because uh, my computer doesn't work the camera now. And I was born in December 24, the birthday is approaching now. And I major in anthropology of the Olympics and sports. And I'm a member of the Tokyo Organizing Committee. My hobby is walking and hot spring. And next, next right, this is the roadmap of today's speech. And before the Tokyo Games, I'd like to talk a little bit about Ancient Olympics and Antwerp 19, 1920 from the viewpoint of recovery. In the first uh, Ancient Olympic Games, this is a description of Greece written by Pausanias, second century AD. He wrote about the beginning of the Ancient Olympics and you can see the one reason why they celebrate, began the Olympic Games is uh, civil wars and the pestilence. And this is a translation by the James Fraser. As Greece just at that time was sorely wasted by pestilence and the civil strife, it struck if it was that he would pray to the God at Delphi for deliverance from these evils. And they say that the Christian priestess enjoined him and the aliens to renew the Olympic Games. So the reason why the ancient Olympic Games began uh, the recovery from the war and the pestilence. And now we jump to the modern Olympic Games and 100 years ago, 
Antwerp Olympic Games were held. In the background of these games, the Berlin 1916 games were cancelled due to the World War First. And in April 1920, IOC members choose Antwerp for the seventh Olympic Games. The other candidate at that time was Lyon of France. And this Olympic Games was after the World War First and full pandemic was Spanish flu. Many people died from this war and full pandemic. So the Antwerp 1920 Games were somewhat it, they have the meaning of the recovery from this war and pandemic. And you can see the exhibition of 1920 Olympic Games in the Olympic Museum and the Japan Olympic Museum. They have exhibition now. And Antwerp 1920 Games were held from 20 April to 9 September. 23 sports and 506 events were held among 29 countries. And there are some symbolic ceremonies were introduced in these games. This was an Olympic symbol, Olympic earth, and release of dabs in opening ceremony. And this is a scene of the first appearance of the Olympic symbol. In the center pole, there was an Olympic symbol but we can see, so I will zoom up and next slide. And we can see the Olympic symbol in the center of the stadium. And also we can see the Japanese flag. It's very in interesting picture, the Japanese flag and Olympic, Olympic symbols, flags are side by side. And Pierre de Coubertin made this Olympic symbol designed in 1913. He wrote in his Revue Olympique these five rings represent the five parts of the world from this point on one over to Olympism and given to accepting fruitful rivalry. Furthermore, the six colors, including the white background, thus combined, reprodu reproduce the colors of all the nations with no exception. He wrote as follows, like that. And he summarized the Antwerp 1920 games in the Antwerp Town Hall after the closing ceremony. This is what the Seventh Olympiad has brought us. General comprehension, the certainty of being henceforward one finally specialization into unfortunate compartments or uh, above all festivals of human unity. He told the Olympic Games were the festivals of human unity. And next symbol of this opening ceremony was the uh, first 
オリンピックオアース。The Belgian fencer Victor Boyne swear we swear that we will take part in Olympic Games in the spirit of chivalry for the honor of our country and for the glory of sports. And Kuberta mentioned in the July edition of Reboot Olympic that an athlete o r s of fairness should be introduced into the Olympic ceremonies. And third item of the symbol of this opening ceremony was the first release of dabs. You can see the dabs in the field, and、uh, people have、uh, box, and inside there were dabs. and They released the dabs to the air. These dabs were used in military, and because the World War was finished and no need to use these dabs, and they were released in the opening ceremony. So it sim symbolized. The peace of the world. And next slide, I'd like to introduce the famous British athlete. His name is Philip Noel Baker. He was a soldier and We know the Nobel Prize for Peace. He got silver medal in 1500 meters at Antwerp. And after that, he was involved in the formation of League of Nations after World War I. Get Nations. After World War II. And in 1959, he got Nobel Prize for Peace on behalf of nuclear disarmament. He tried to decrease the nuclear in the world. This is a symbolic athlete in the 19th century. 20 games. So I'd like to summarize the meaning of Antwerp 1920. These games were recovery from the war and full pandemic. And we can find the visualization of Olympism. One of them is the Olympic symbol. It means the solidarity, unity, and second is the Olympic o r s symbolizing the fairness and release of deaths. It means the peace. And at this Antwerp 1920 Games, What did Japanese athletes learn? This is the second time for Japanese to participate in the Olympic Games. And we can find two athletes who wrote about this Antwerp Games. One of them is Mr. Noguchi. He was captain of Japanese athletes and competed in Decathlon. The other one is Mr. Kanakuri. He competed in 
marathon race. And Mr. Noguchi felt solidarity. He wrote as follows, French athlete Joseph Gilmo and Finnish Fabo Nurmi competed in 5,000 meter and 10,000 meter. Gilmo won in 5,000 meter and Nurmi won in 10,000 meter. The French audience sent cheers to Nurmi and the Finnish audience sent cheers to Gilmo in town. And he wrote, this noble spirit assimilated all of the audience. The next slide, please. These are the pictures regarding the compete between Nurmi and uh, Gilmo. The left one, the right one above is uh, Gilmo, and the second runner is Nurmi. They competed. They competed in five thousand meter, and Gilmo won the left left picture. He was cheered by his audience. And Japanese athlete felt fairness wrote Ted Meredith from USA, world record holder of 800 meters, competed in 400 meter in 1920 games. When he unexpectedly failed in semifinals, he shook hands with the winner of that race. Although Meredith couldn't win because of physical strength, he showed he was still a great athlete in the world. Then Noguchi continued, we Japanese athletes and the audience must learn these sports spirits to promote sports in Japan. And Noguchi became a professor at Tokyo Higher Normal School to promote physical education and sports in Japan. And Japanese athlete felt sports could contribute for recovery. She saw Kanakuri the marathon runner traveled to Germany after the Antwerp Games. He was impressed to watch many men and women enjoyed sports in Germany after the World War I and he felt sports could contribute for recovery. And he became a teacher in women's normal school in Tokyo to promote physical education and sports for women in Japan. And next, I'd like to talk about Tokyo 1964 games. It was the first Olympic Games held in Asia, held in October 1964, and 93 countries, 5,000 athletes participated in 163 events. And these games were symbol of the recovery from the World War II and uh, it showed 
the solidarity among Asians and the world, and peace by touch, relay, and education. Uh, this is a picture after the air, air raid in Tokyo, March 1945. Tokyo City was destroyed. But 10 years after the war, the Tokyo City promoting has promoted the reconstruction and uh, in the center of, of Tokyo, the National St Stadium was constructed. It was completed in 1958 for the Asian Games in this year. And Shinkansen, an expressway, opened in 1964. This ex expressway were from uh, International Airport to the center of Tokyo and ready for the games. And the Tokyo Organizing Committee focused on the Olympic torch relay because this is a very important tool to show that Japan has changed to the peaceful country and the recovery from the World War II. The number of torch bearers were more than 100,000 and the total distance of relay was 1,600 kilometers outside Japan and 925 kilometers in Japan. This relay ran across the Asian countries from Greece Turkey, Lebanon, Iran, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Burma, Thailand, etc. And Japan, come to Japan. And these are the roots of the torch relay in 1964. From Olympia, Beirut, Tehran, Lahore, New Delhi, Rangoon, Bangkok, Kuala Lumpur, Manila, Hong Kong, Taipei, Okinawa, and Japan. And Tochi Day in Greece and Asian countries. The Tochi Day started in 21st August 1964 from Olympia. And Tochi Day reached at Beirut on 24 August. And Tehran uh, in Iran on 26. And New Delhi, India, 28 August. And Bangkok in Thailand. 2 September, 2nd September, and Hong Kong, 4 September. And Olympic frame it reached at Miyazaki, 9 September. And this torch relay went across the Japan all of the prefectures in Japan, these torch relays were transported and at the opening ceremony on 
10th October, the final torch bearer was Mr. Yoshinori Sakai. He was born on the day that the atomic bomb fell in Hiroshima. It was uh, 6 August in 1945. And he was born on that day and he became a young athlete and he tried to be an Olympic athlete, but he failed. And he was choose a final torch bearer. It was, but he was symbol of the recovery and the peace from the World War II. And next, I'd like to introduce the Olympic education in 1964. Some textbooks on the Olympic movement were made by Ministry of Education. For elementary schools, junior high school, high schools. And when I was elementary school pupil, I learned this Olympic education. I was nine years old at that time, and I learned something about the Olympic movement. And one of the part of this Olympic education Moral and peace education was focused in this program. And uh, in this textbook, it, it said morality as spectator, because techniques are not only factors to concentrate, also sportsmanship and attitude to watch sports correctly are important and don't bring human race and nation border when giving a praise to athletes. And guests who are not used to Japanese environment, welcoming them and behaving politely are our motto. I have memories that I learned we must be kind to the foreigners if they are at a loss and uh, if they are looking for something. So then I summarize the meaning of Tokyo 1964. These games were recovery from the war and uh, it showed the solidarity among Asian countries and the world and peace by Tochi Bure and education. And next, the Tokyo 2020, the games will be held 23 July to 8 August in the next year. The vision of the Tokyo 2020 is that sports has the power to change the world and our future. It seems very powerful in nowadays. And the organized committee showed the plan. They have five items, sports and health, culture and education, recovery, 
urban development and sustainability, economics and technology. Then I'd like to talk on recovery. Recovery means the recovery from Great East Japan earthquake and the tsunami happened on 11 March in 2011. These are the pictures, the tsunami after the earthquake. And many sports organizations went to this disaster area to encourage the children and the people. For promoting recovery, Japanese Olympic Committee organized the Olympic Day and sent athletes to schools. Day Fest is the Olympic class at the disaster area. They with uh, Olympic athletes. They encourage people and the children to recover the district. And the Japanese government took the host, host town program. And uh, this is uh, international exchange program among the local towns in Japan, uh, um, between the local towns in Japan and uh, foreign cities and or foreign athletes. And one of the host town programs, there is an arigato program. Arigato means thank you very much. And this program is having exchange directly with those who gave support at the time of disaster in 2011. For example, Kita Shino, Kita Shiobara village in Fukushima prefecture. Dancers from Taiwan Dance Association visited the village to encourage the people in 2011. And this village invited the dancers and the students to continue the exchange with the dance association. These kind of the programs are going on now. And starting point of the Toshi Relay is uh, J Village. This is a national sports training center in Fukushima. And J Village was used for the base camp of nuclear plant accidents in Fukushima. And this is the starting point of the torch relay as symbol of recovery. And in schools near the J village, they, they have Olympic education program on Olympic frame and we visited this school to practice the Olympic education for the pupil in elementary school and the junior high school with the international students. In the inter international student talked on the Olympic movement and the Olympic flame. And after that, the 
pupils in elementary schools and junior high school made the megaphone for the watch relay and they wrote their words for cheering in Japanese and in English. This is, this, this is one of the Olympic education program in disaster area. And this year, on 11 March, World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. And the postponement of the Tokyo 2020 Games was decided by IOC and Japanese government on 20 March because of COVID-19. And I think the date is 11 March 2021. It means 10 years since the great earthquake and one year since the pandemic declaration, the same days. So, Next year means the recovery from the great earthquake in Japan and pandemic in the world. Recovery not only from the great earthquake, but also from the worldwide pandemic. And now the Japanese government are preparing for the next year's games through scientific technology. One of them is the epidemic surveillance system, protecting the public from the spread of epidemics by building a framework that enables the collection and analysis of information on possible outbreaks and the speedy dissemination of accurate information to the public. Now they can provide this system. And next technology shows the urban transportation system developing the advanced rapid transit urban transportation system aimed at providing convenient user-friendly transportation for everyone and creating a safe and smooth running urban infrastructure. And next technology is uh, audio visual for the production and international distribution of the games. And using innovative audio visual technologies during the games for the production and international distribution of the opening and closing ceremonies and Olympic events to deliver the excitement of the games while showcasing the best of Japan's technological prowess. And if you can see the slide as the games, you can see the athlete like that and outside the venues such a scene you can you can see 
outside venues. These kind of the technologies are meaningful with COVID-19 days. So, pandemic versus Olympic and Paralympics. The pandemic divides the nations, societies, and the people. Otherwise, the Olympic and Paralympic movement connect the nations, societies, and people. So we must overcome this issue. And I want to consider the meaning of the year of 2021. From the ancient times, Olympiad, the four years duration, it began in ancient times in 776 before Christ is the first And when we count from this year, the 2021 is the first year of the 700th Olympiad. And 2024, the Paris is the fourth year of the 700th Olympiad. From the viewpoint of the ancient Olympic Games and the long history of uh, the Games, it's, it shows the next year and 700th Olympiad should be turning point of the Olympic movement. We must consider the Olympic movement and the Olympic Games. One of them is the size of the Games. In London 2011, 26 sports and 302 events. And at Rio 2016, 28 sports and 306 events. And for 2020, 33 sports and 300 events. I think it is a little bit too large. So we must reconsider the size of the games. And also, we must consider the days of the games. When is the best for athletes in the summertime or the other season? We must consider with the effect of the COVID-19. And we must utilize the technology for health and safety for athletes and audience. And also we must, we must think the culture and education after COVID-19. And the philosophy of the Olympic movement after the COVID-19, etc. So, I'd like to show my conclusion. The Olympic Games 
help the NVA of recovery from the war and the pestilence from the ancient times. Next, Antwerp 19, 1920 games contributed for the recovery from the war. Japanese participants learned solidarity, fairness, and recovery through sports. Tokyo 1964 was a symbol of the Japanese recovery from the war, and Tokyo 2020 would be fight for recovery not only from the great earthquake in Japan, but also from the worldwide pandemic, and we should overcome this issue for the future development of the Olympic movement. And thank you for your attention. Sorry, uh, the, uh, my PC doesn't work so well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Professor Sanada. Uh, yes. I see that there is some difficulties yes. to heard uh the the last minute uh, i don't know why uh it is good for everybody now yes yes perfect so yes. Uh, thank you, Professor Sanada, for this uh, this presentation. And we are sorry for the the first part and the technical problem. We will find the solution mm -hmm. to share the presentation and to have a, a better quality on the the, the final video. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I, I would like before to to let uh, uh, some uh, some audience have a, a question. I, I have a, a first question on your presentation. You uh, show that the recovery was a thematic finally for the, the games of Tokyo uh, 64 and Tokyo 2020. And it was uh, as, as well the same for Antwerp in, in 1920. Uh, but I saw a lot in uh, Tokyo 2020 the notion of uh, future future. And uh, we don't see this uh, this term in uh, in the other uh, Olymp Olympic Games. So, do you think that the, the question of future is uh, the same ID today in 2020 as in the games of uh, 64 with the technological innovation in Japan? So, there is a link between the two games beyond the recovery recovery thematic with the future. Okay, thank you very much for your question. You mean the, uh, there, there, uh, there are some uh, connection between the Tokyo 1964 technology and the uh, Tokyo 2020 technology? Absolutely, yes. Okay, yes. Uh, I think some of them have connections. And uh, in case of the audio visualizing technology at the Tokyo 1964 games, the television broadcasting systems have much improved. And uh, the slow, slow replay started in 1964 Tokyo Games and uh, such kind of uh, technology was developed in the 1964 and after the 1964 the TV broadcasting company started to the next uh, technology and that is in Japan 4K and 8K, they are very uh, fine arts in the television system. And so through the, through the Olympic Games, all the audio visualizing technology in Japan have developed. And this is uh, a, one of the technology connecting these two games and otherwise the uh, 
transportation system or the some uh, some systems for the people uh, people for the uh, injured uh, that the kind of technology has much developed uh, it it has some connection but not much connected it has jumped very much do you understand yes absolutely thank you and uh, perhaps I have a second question before to to ask to the participant to 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 ask if they have a question. My my second question is more about the the the, the postponement. Um, what what is what exactly changed uh, between uh, 2020 and 2021 uh, postponement games? So uh, do the urban project change during this last year? There is some uh, precise. Uh, 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 problematic uh, uh, about urban uh, transportation. For example, I imagine that the airport is less used now. And do it change something about the urban project of Tokyo 2020 and Tokyo 2021 because of the COVID? Mm, yes. Yes. Now the Japanese government and the organizing committee are now considering how they will a prepare for the games in the next year and uh, the details are not decided and uh, but I think some of the changing is uh, how the we can accept the audience how we can accept the audience and in case of the athlete i think we can accept and receive the athletes and uh, we can make some route for the athlete olympic village to the venue but otherwise the how we can accept the audience from from the uh, other countries the this was it was it is not decided now but now we are uh, practicing step by step in the baseball games in japan it is the uh, most popular in Japan now and the one, one third of the capacity the spectators are watching in the venues now and step by step we are uh, testing now now this is a uh, this is uh, a technological level now, and otherwise, how we can recover the connection between the nations and the societies, and I now I, I have no answer now. I uh, we are now now how we can combine again with technology and uh, to to show the some uh, uh, excellent performance by athlete after fighting the COVID nineteen and. Uh, I think one of the, of the performance by athlete after the performance after fighting the COVID nineteen that is very important for the next year's 
、えー、オリンピックゲームズ。I'm sorry, I, I have not so exact answer. <laughs> No, thank you. It's very good. So I will let、uh, Jean Christophe Lapouble、uh, uh, ask a question for you.、Uh, yes,、uh, thank you, Professor, for your presentation. Uh, uh, I am Professor in the Sports Science Department,、uh, University of Poitiers. I'm a law professor, sport law professor. I have two small questions. First, first question is、uh, do, do you think that、uh, business has gone beyond education? In Olympic Games, in the organization in Olympic Games. And the second question is、uh, what do you think about the increase of the cost of the organization of the Olympic Games? Okay, thank you very much. The first question is、uh, Olympic education. What, what is Uh, do, do you think that、uh, in the Olympic Games, business、uh, has gone beyond education? Is business more important in the no in Olympic Games than education?、Uh, when you present、uh, Olympic Games in Antwerp in turn 1920, you、uh, emphasize on education. But no, if you,、uh, mm. if you look at、uh, Olympic Games, you can see a lot of sponsors, Coca Cola, etc. Et There is a, a program、uh, named、uh, the Olympic Partner. And we, we, when we saw Olympic Games,、uh, we saw a lot of business. And then, what, what do you think about that? Could you,、mm. could you think now that、uh, education is more important than business in the、uh, Olympic Games? Yes, yes. I think, yes. The Olympic education is very important in Japan. And、uh, yes, more than business, I, I, I agree. It and now in this COVID 19 circumstance, the, in the springtime, the Olympic education were, decre were decreased. But from this autumn, the Olympic education were、uh, started again.、Uh, some of them use the online system. And uh, uh, some of the schools are implementing the Olympic education face to face now. And I talked about the international exchange program, host town program that. That kind of the pro program was affected by the COVID 19 <clears throat> now. But after the games, it would be、uh, continued.、Uh, many of the local towns are considering like that now. Is it okay the, for the first question? Yes, thank you. And so is the second question. What is the second question? The second question was about the increase of the cost of、uh, organization of the Olympic Games. Because I think、uh, it's、uh, for Tokyo, for Tokyo is a、uh, 10,000 uh, billion of dollars. Yes, yes. The cost, and we must pay much more the cost. And、uh, The Japanese government, Metropolitan City, and Tokyo Organizing Committee、uh, paid the cost of the postponement fee. And that fee was.、Uh, The three, three organizers divided and、uh, they decided how much each of them pay, will pay for the cost. It was already、uh, decided now. 
uh, two weeks ago, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank for your question. There is another question. Uh, it's okay for me. Okay. Thanks. I think I have a question that is in the continuity of your question, uh, Professor uh, Lapouble. Um, do, do the preparation of the game of 2020 have an impact on uh, sport equipment outside of Tokyo? Uh, perhaps uh, the Olympic Games was uh, the, the occasion for the Japanese government to promote the construction of new infrastructure for uh, uh, sport outside of Tokyo and outside of competition, I think, for school or for uh, public space. Do, do the Tokyo 2020 have an impact on this question? Okay, thank you very much. And for the sports inf infrastructure and uh, population for sports, the Japan Sports Agency uh, has target to increase these the population for sports infrastructure and by the end of 2018 uh, the number of the infrastructures and the population has slightly increased, has slightly increased. And maybe 2019, it should be increased, it increased, it, it has increased slightly. But in 2020, because of the COVID-19, effect affected the number of these infrastructure and uh, not only in Tokyo but also the suburban area the sports club and the population of sports and infrastructures have increased slightly but the 2020s well, it's not, uh, it is, uh, I'm wondering what the affection of the COVID-19 should, will be come out. Is it okay? Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, if there is no other question, I have a last one, more historical, but perhaps no, I see no other question. So I, I will ask, I think, a last question uh, because in Japan it is now 9.20 in the evening. So uh, we will let you uh, go out uh, after this uh, this last question. Uh, what is now the, the, um, uh, the feelings of uh, uh, Japanese governments about the, the games of uh, 1940? Because we speak a lot about, we spoke a lot about 1964 and 2020, but Tokyo was elected in uh, 1940, as well as Sapporo for the winter game. And mm -hmm. the two uh, a, a game in Tokyo and Sapporo were uh, abandoned by the government, I think, mm -hmm. two years before. So what, what is now the narrative of the games of 1940 in Japan, uh, as well as the, in the political side and the, the media side? Yes, OK. And uh, regarding on the 1940 Tokyo Games, were well, uh, negative in Japanese uh, mass communication. But when I researched the detail of that plan of the games, I can find the trial, trial for recovery after the great earthquake happened in Tokyo in 1923, Kanto Great Earthquake. And 
through the Olympic Games, they try to recover. Uh, after the Great Earthquake, the many sports institute, institute sports organ, organizer, sports organization try to recover the society through sports. And uh, they sports park in Tokyo area and they made the national stadium in 1923. So after this contribution, the Japanese, some Japanese uh, consider to invite Tokyo Games to uh, the Olympic Games to Tokyo. And it was the first attempt to hold the games outside Europe and America. And the Japanese leader, Professor Jigoro Kano, insisted to make Olympic Games international culture we should hold the games in Asia. And the many IOC agreed, agreed him and the Tokyo Games were, Tokyo Games were uh, decided at once. But finally it was uh, gone out because of the war with China and Japan. So I think uh, if we consider the Olympic history in Japan from the viewpoint of recovery, I, I can find some in interesting point. So I can say the top in 1940 and 1964 and 2020, they have the vision for recovery, the disaster and war and pest. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Sanada. Uh, and thank you for your presentation. We are sorry for the technical problems in the beginning of the, the session. So we will find a way to 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 uh, to uh, to put in internet a good broadcast. Perhaps we will try another uh, recording. And um, uh, I inform you that the next session of this webinar should be the 12th uh, January 2021. And it uh, the invited professor uh, will be. Professor uh, Jean-Loup Chapelet from the University of Lausanne, and he will speak to us about the, the transformation of the governance of Olympic Games and IOC International Olympic Committee uh, the, the last decade. So uh, it will be another session about the history, the recent history of the Games and the governance of the Games. So have a good day, everyone, and uh, see you perhaps uh, the 12th January. Thank you, Professor Sanada. Thank you very much. See you.